Hi, welcome to cloud computing session. Today we are going to start a new session called cloud computing and in this one we will understand what this all about cloud computing. You must have heard about it in various uh, articles, newspaper, media, magazine, everywhere that cloud computing, cloud computing, something is there which is uh, all over the place. What exactly is cloud computing? Well, uh, this whole session is all about cloud computing, but uh, cloud computing basically what it means is that there is something which you are trying to use the computing resources in a very optimal and efficient way which is outside the your own company or infrastructure. Now that is very high level of cloud computing but how do I exactly get it what is cloud computing? Cloud computing in another way is like there are various ways you can define cloud computing. One is that somebody has a large data center in cloud somewhere sitting which you don't need to invest to buy completely. Whenever you want to use it, you pay for it and then forget it. So it is pay per use, it is very efficient and it is very scalable. So let us understand what is cloud computing. So the agenda of this complete course of on cloud computing will be to introduction to cloud computing first chapter in this we'll discuss about what exactly is cloud computing we'll also discuss about what are the various evolution and drivers why the cloud computing has become so popular and why it has become so important and critical to any business what is exactly virtualization technology and how does it play a role in creating a cloud computing infrastructure? How is the market for cloud computing? In the next chapter, we'll discuss about what are the different types of cloud, what is the cloud computing main characteristics, types of cloud deployment, types of cloud services. Services in the cloud has also been categorized what are the security and standards for cloud computing? What are the relevant standardization activity? What are the various vendors who provide this cloud computing services? AWS, so this is very important one. This is called Amazon Web Services. This is the one which we will discuss in detail. This is the common and generic about cloud computing. This is about AWS. In Amazon Web Services, there are various kinds of services which are offered for the user to take advantage of cloud computing. And important ones are EC2, S3, RDS, CloudWatch, EBS, IAM, CloudFormation. So these are Amazon AWS offerings for cloud computing. Now to work with AWS, you might need some developer tools and we'll discuss about them as well. They are called AWS Management Console and AWS Toolkit for Eclipse. Since it is a video license, we might not have a hands-on lab. So this is not possible since it is a video. We'll definitely talk about few references as well. So this is pretty much is the agenda for our cloud computing course in this session. So what is cloud computing? Now before you get into the formal definition of cloud computing, let us see that in our daily life, are we doing something that we are already using cloud computing and we may not be aware of it? I think we are already using a lot of those services which we do not know as cloud computing service, but we are using it. 
in fact their cloud computing service. So let us see few examples. Amazon Web Services. Every time somebody starts a online shop, they can use the Amazon Web Services for payment purpose, for commercial integration purpose and lot of other purposes. You use Gmail. Gmail is nothing but a software as a service which is also a part of cloud computing. IBM Lotus Live, this is also a way to manage the enterprises online and that is also a type of cloud computing. Zynga is the gaming company which is provides playing games online that is also cloud computing. The point is that any system which provides you a computing mechanism which is not happening at your computer happening somewhere else is called cloud computing. Especially if that place is not owned by any particular company which is providing the application but only by a company which is providing the infrastructure services. Intuit is another one. Google Calendar, this is if you are using Google Calendar you are using a computer cloud computing services. If you are using Sugar CRM, you are using the cloud computing. Salesforce.com, it is another big example. If you are using this, you are using cloud computing. Netflix, if you are watching the videos, movie, <coughs> online or anything like that, you are using a cloud computing. Google App Engine is another example of cloud computing. So all of these are example of cloud computing which we are using right now in our daily life. Yahoo email is also a software as a service, Yahoo calendar, Yahoo photos, all of them are an example of cloud computing based applications. Okay. Now let us have a different viewpoints on cloud computing. So as an application developer, if you ask him what is cloud computing, he might get into APIs and everything. If you ask an enterprise IT CIO, he might say something different from a different perspective. But what is happening is that cloud computing is the thing which everybody is seeing from their angle. From a CFO perspective, it is a cost effective way to manage your infrastructure. From operator, telco or service provider, it is an opportunity for a new business. For a manager, it is an opportunity and way to take the business from non-cloud computing legacy in-house infrastructure to a cloud computing infrastructure. Now if you ask an executive he will say it is a buyer centric view of technology where applications are available through purchase, rental or even development wherever and whenever which is fine. If you ask a CFO he will say it is more about economy in which it says a pay as you go model where consumers only pay for what they use. So if there is a large number of servers sitting somewhere you have to pay only what you use for not for the whole server. If you ask for CIO a comprehensive virtualization model for technology from infrastructure through application delivery. So a virtualization model for technology which not only support the infrastructure but it goes all the way through application delivery. So it is a technology perspective but what is exactly cloud computing? Cloud computing is all of this. So it is just a way you see how the cloud computing is. Okay. Now let us have a formal definition of cloud computing. Cloud computing describes a new supplement consumption and delivery model for IT services based on internet. So this is mostly applicable for the IT services which are provided over internet and it typically involves the provision of a dynamically scalable and often virtualized resources as a service over the internet. So it is typically involves a dynamically, dynamically scalable and virtual resources 
over the internet. NIST is a National Institute for Standards and Technology in USA. According to that, there is another definition of cloud computing. What it says is that cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, ubiquitous means present all the time, convenient, possible over internet, on demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources. So somewhere somebody is putting lot of network, server, storage, application and services and as and when I need it I can use it and then don't pay for rest of the time. So it is not that I don't have to buy this, it is just like renting the resources. So the concept of buying the resource and using it is now a old style. Now what happens is that I will rent a resource and use it and when I am not required I will stop the rent paying and let it somebody else use the same resource. So it is like renting the resource. Okay. It is ubiquitous, it is very present all the time, convenience, on demand. So this is what is important, on demand, right? When I need it only then I will know it, pay it, otherwise I won't pay for it. That can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort. So this see, rapidly provisioned means when I need immediately I get it. When I don't need it, immediately I release it and that is what happens with a minimal management effort or service provider interaction. So cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction.